on their families and those injured instead of having to witness the disgraceful scenes we have seen up and down the country. From the beginning, Greater Manchester Police put in a strong plan uh, to deal with incidents of violence and disorder. That plan has worked and in testing circumstances, GMP has ma maintained control throughout the weekend. We are grateful to everybody throughout the force at all levels, officers and civilian staff, for working hard to keep our communities safe. We are confident in the proactive approach GMP is taking. We continue to monitor the intelligence and our robust approach will not change however long this lasts. I will personally ensure that GMP have all of the resources they need to maintain control of our streets and law and order in our communities. All residents of Greater Manchester can be assured that we will do everything within our power to keep you safe. And those taking part in criminal activities, they will face every possible consequence. Over the weekend, there were 19 arrests, and I can update the figures for you. Uh, there have been four more arrests today, so in total, 23 arrests. And uh, people are being brought uh, before the courts today, and will continue to be brought uh, before them uh, for the remainder of this week. Many more uh, offenders are being identified, more doors will be knocked on, and more offenders will be brought to justice. There is not, and there will never be, two-tier policing in Greater Manchester. Criminality is criminality. If you break the law, you will face the consequences. It's as simple as that. Going forward, GMP have assured me that they will pursue every legal avenue to prevent a repeat, such as criminal behaviour orders stopping known and repeat offenders from entering our towns and cities. I want to finish uh, on this point. This morning, there were hundreds and thousands of people in our city region who will have gone out of their doors to work looking over their shoulder. Just think about that for one minute and what that must feel like. Some of the people taking to the streets and shouting, we want our country back, in fact, want to make it something it has never been before, a place where people fear for their safety going about their everyday business. We must not, and we will not, let them prevail. I'll now hand over to the Deputy Mayor. Let me also begin by thanking the officers and staff of Greater Manchester Police for the job they've done over the weekend to protect our city region. As we've seen this weekend, policing can be dangerous work. Officers faced an exceptionally challenging situation and met it with bravery and professionalism. We thank them for their swift action and all those who supported the effort to keep our residents and businesses safe across the city region. That includes our councils, firefighters, ambulance crews, Transport for Greater Manchester staff, our health services and community partners. The Mayor and I have kept in constant touch with the Chief Constable and Deputy Chief Constable. GMP, as you've heard, had significant resources in place over the weekend and police commanders were quick to implement the legislative powers available to them. We are satisfied that those powers were necessary and were used proportionately. Section 34 dispersal orders were used, which allowed police to order troublemakers to leave an area and ban them from returning to that location for up to 48 hours. Section 60 powers allowed senior commanders to authorise officers to stop and search anyone they suspected was planning to commit acts of serious violence. Those powers enabled police to confiscate weapons. Section 60 AA powers allowed police officers to order the removal of face coverings such as balaclavas used to conceal identity. 
GMP use these powers across the city region and they will not hesitate to use them again if needed. As you've heard from the Mayor, criminal investigations are now underway and those who have committed offences will be pursued and brought to justice. Our police are well resourced, well trained and well led. They police without fear or favour. As the Mayor has said, there is no two-tier policing in Greater Manchester. I'm proud of the way Greater Manchester has once again pulled together this weekend to keep our communities safe. Behind the scenes, local leaders and public servants worked around the clock together. And while we've seen bad actors on social media stoking divisions, decent people across the city region have been working quietly on the ground to calm things down, and we're grateful to them. Only by continuing to work together in this way can we defeat those who want to divide us. This is where we're at our strongest. And we'll continue to engage with people across Greater Manchester in the coming days and weeks to strengthen the bonds between our communities. Greater Manchester has a proud tradition of peaceful protest. What we will not tolerate is the spreading of fear and hate or criminal disorder. Those who commit criminal acts will be brought to justice and there will never be a place for violence or intimidation in our city region. I'll now hand over to the leader of Manchester City Council. Following a weekend that saw a number of serious incidents of unrest in towns and cities across the country, we know that our communities will be feeling understandably anxious and uneasy this morning. We want to place on record and be clear to reassure our residents that we will not tolerate disorder on our streets and that their safety is our priority. Manchester's diversity is our strength and it is now more important than ever that we support one another with compassion, with understanding and with solidarity. I'm deeply aware that some of our communities, especially minority communities, are feeling anxious about hostility, abuse, racism, anti-Muslim hatred and discrimination. Much of this has also made its way onto social media where misinformation and hate is being spread. Everyone has the right to feel safe in their community. And we will work with colleagues at GMP, with the Mayor and Deputy Mayor, to monitor local concerns and make sure that Manchester remains a welcoming and a safe place. And as such, there will be an increased police presence in our neighbourhoods. And we want to be clear that officers are there primarily to support, provide visibility and reassurance in keeping people safe. We fully support GMP in taking robust action against anyone who's intent on bringing violence and disorder to our streets. As we've heard today, with the arrest count continuing to rise, swift justice is going to be brought to all of those that have perpetrated disorder and hatred on our streets. And I also want to place on record my thanks to GMP, to council staff, to colleagues across partner agencies right across the city region who have worked hard in recent days to keep Manchester safe under very challenging circumstances. There is no justification and there will be never any justification for criminal behaviour and the actions of perpetrators undermines everything that our city stands for. Violence and disorder will never be tolerated and the message of our city is clear. We are proud to be a vibrant, tolerant and accepting place. We know, and history has shown us, that there is more that unites us than divides us. So now is the time that we come together to show in reality what this means, to come together as a city and a city region and be unequivocal and clear that there is no place and there will never be any place for hatred on our streets. Now we're uh, open to the media to ask a, a question each. Uh, we're going to do that in this format today rather than one-to-one -one interviews. If any of the questions are for the leader of Manchester City Council or the Deputy Mayor, obviously I will hand over, hand over to them. So uh, 
over to colleagues in the media. Start with Annie Ann. Um, so Andy, the remote plans for protests this week come in, and what happened over the weekend was sort of an accumulation of a lot of things in the background. So I'm just wondering what you think the root causes of this are, and what your plans are going to be for the next week to prevent similar sort of disorder happening. Well, firstly, on, on our plans, um, we have developed, as I say, uh, both GMP working with the 10 councils, a very detailed and robust approach uh, to this situation, and that plan will not change. And I have committed to ensuring all the resources uh, that are needed will be provided, uh, and that will last uh, for as long as the situation uh, lasts. In terms of uh, the root uh, causes, um, I think there'll be a time and place for, for others to, uh, to debate that. Um, if there are issues here, they should be debated in Parliament and not, not on, the, on the streets. I think there's been um, a drive uh, over, over recent times to put out misinformation um, for uh, people to uh, bring division to our communities. I think social media has played a role in that polarization. And I do think there are serious questions for the social media companies as part of this and the algorithms they use. It cannot be right that you cannot, uh, cannot, it, you cannot not come face to face with quite extreme racist content on, on X. Um, and that is a matter for, uh, for those who, who run that. They need to address that issue. Why is, why is that the case? So there are, as I say, issues here that need, need to be debated, uh, but now isn't necessarily the time and place for that. Now is the time to focus on reassuring our communities, making sure GMP have got everything they need uh, to, uh, to maintain the approach that they, they, uh, they used at the weekend, and that is where our full focus is. What is your message to people that are taking place in these demonstrations or applying to, you know, how seriously are GMP taking this? There will be consequences when you know, those uh, go over the line and into criminality. It's, it's as simple as that, as I said before. We, we are a city region that has always allowed people uh, to protest peacefully, and that remains the case. Uh, but um, we will never allow people to come into our city or into our towns and threaten the safety of other people. Uh, that's not something we will ever uh, allow. And as I say, this isn't two-tier policing. We will take the same approach uh, wherever that criminality uh, shows itself. And one thing I would actually want to, to, um, to get over, um, while we do, um, as, as I say, always uh, allow peaceful protest, I would also say those planning to counter-protest, to think twice about uh, doing that, because those counter-protests can uh, raise the temperature they can make it more difficult uh, for GMP uh, to maintain order. Um, we would ask uh, people to think twice about uh, doing that. Let's focus on maintaining uh, the peace, keeping people safe, and not uh, making GMP's job any harder than it already is. I mean, just on that, on counter-protesting, I mean, obviously people feel quite strongly if, if they can see sort of far-right protesters coming to their town. Well, how, how are GMP going to facilitate peaceful protest along, uh, along some of these um, other demonstrations? I say the emphasis is always on uh, peaceful protest, not on confrontation. And sometimes the counter protest can lead towards uh, confrontation and the flashpoint that those, uh, are look those uh, who are coming to the city are looking, are looking for. And it can actually bring the oxygen of publicity to what, uh, they, are, what they are saying. So I just am asking people to think, uh, think twice uh, about doing that. This is a difficult situation. Uh, we need to be lowering the temperature, not raising it. We need to be making the job of GMP easier, not harder. And I hope that's a message that everybody in Greater Manchester will understand. You mentioned hundreds of thousands of people in the region will be scared, worried for their homes, businesses. How do you go about starting to reassure them that our towns and city centres are safe places to be? Yeah, I want to just come back to, to that point I made at the end, and thank you for raising the question, because I, I was really struck by that, going about things at the weekend, you know, looking at people doing, uh, doing their, 
their jobs. I was in a, in a care home at the weekend. You know, I was kind of travelling around, you know, in a taxi chatting to people. You know, why should people working in our care homes, in our hospitals, driving taxis, doing whatever they're, they're doing, why should they have gone out the door this Monday morning feeling uncertain, feeling unsafe, looking over their shoulder? As I said, they, they mustn't and shouldn't. Um, and that's why I said before, you know, if, if that is allowed to take hold, that is to change this country in a way uh, that we've, we've never we've never experienced uh, before. But, but what can I say to reassure them that the plan we have in place is strong and it is working and we will keep at it as long as it takes. And we will also uh, bring offenders to justice as we are doing today and as we will do throughout this week. People will face the consequences if they have broken the law, if they've made other people feel intimidated there will be a range of consequences for those for those actions. So that's the reassurance that I can give people. We will be relentless uh, in pursuing those who brought violence and disorder to our streets. And yes. Andy, in yeah. terms of police officers, obviously, so many have been involved in these these clashes over recent days. What what is the morale like among officers in Greater Manchester Police at the minute? And have you got any? numbers on the amount injured, are there any have been seriously hurt over the previous few days? Morale is, um, uh, is, is good um, and I think that's evidenced by the fact that there were so many uh, police uh, out on our streets doing such an effective job. At all times, even though it was testing at times, uh, control was maintained um, and I speak, I know for Bev, the other leaders in, in Greater Manchester, everybody has been, uh, been at pains to praise GMP uh, today because um, what we have seen is highly professional policing from top to bottom uh, in GMP. Now, obviously, uh, there were a small uh, number, number of incidents, but because of the plan, we have not seen uh, injuries to police, police officers uh, in the same way, perhaps as, as, as happened elsewhere, but you know we're not we're not complacent. I, I meant it when I said we will provide all the resources to um, uh, to ensure that we can continue to maintain uh, the level of policing that we've seen at the weekend. But I think it's because GMP today is is well led. It's an improving police force. Morale is uh, improving all of the while in the GM in the GMP ranks, and I think that that had a very a visible demonstration on the streets of Greater Manchester at the weekend. And how important is it that the community of Greater Manchester is coming together and backing everyone locally? I think that is very important uh, because of what I was saying a moment ago in terms of people looking over their shoulder, feeling uh, uncertain, worrying about their families when they're at work. I mean, no one should have to live their lives like that. Certainly not when you know, they're working to provide frontline services or working to support life here in, in Greater Manchester. Um, so, you know, I, I would just ask this reason why I framed what I said in the way that I said. I'm just, I'm asking people to imagine what that must feel like if that's how you were when you went out of your door this morning. Imagine going to work in those, in those circumstances. And, and if people do think about that, then I, I know Greater Manchester. I know what kind of place this is. People will reach out to their neighbour, to their work colleague, to check in on them, to, to make sure that they're, they're, feeling, they're feeling okay, because that's the kind of place this is. And I think what we would all say today, um, for myself, the, the 10 leaders, uh, all, of our, uh, all of our elected representatives would say that you know, Greater Manchester is, is better uh, than the scenes we saw, uh, the saw at the weekend. And actually the vast majority of people here will not stand uh, for, those, for those scenes and they will uh, reach out in support of their friends and neighbours. Any further questions? Okay. Any questions for Deputy Mayor? Robert? Do you want to? One follow-up on the arrest figures. Do you know how many are from Bolton and from Manchester? Uh, that might be off the deputy. <laughs> <laughs>
I do understand that the four that were arrested this afternoon are in respect of the Piccadilly Gardens um, demonstration. I'm not so clear, I think, about the detail of the arrests over the weekend. I think we had 14, we had five and then 14 in two tranches, but we can certainly um, get that information from GMP and share it with you. Okay. Um, I'll just wrap it up then, and thank you all for, uh, for coming in. Thanks for your, uh, your reporting over the weekend, because it was remarked uh, at um, uh, one of our meetings today how, um, how responsible uh, the reporting had, had been and, and accurate. So we thank you for that. Building on the point I made a moment ago about social media and the kind of way in which we've seen um, untruths spread uh, on social media in recent times, this really is a moment where you know, we appreciate the factual uh, coverage that you've, uh, that you've provided. And I think that, that matters greatly to our residents at this uh, moment in time. So uh, we do appreciate that. We do appreciate you coming in today. Uh, we will not be having a, a daily briefing, but I imagine we'll see how the week, the week progresses. Uh, but we will you know, be holding regular, regular briefings as we, as we go forward. We are monitoring all of the intelligence uh, and people can be assured that we are, we are on top of this uh, situation uh, as much as it is possible to be. So thank you very much, everybody, and we'll see you again soon.